Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. We're going to be going through all these things that I have in front of me and hopefully I won't drop things on the floor. I want to grab this before I forget, okay, because it's not in front of me and I don't want to forget that. So what was sitting beside it is an Alice in Wonderland book. This was given to me by my mom. It's the um, 1946 edition. Alice makes sense to me and I totally understand and get Alice. I just truly am a fan of Alice in Wonderland. When I did my questions and answers video, one of the questions that was asked was something along the lines of if there was a makeup item that I regretted not buying. And I said this, the Urban Decay limited edition uh, Disney Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass. I guess I could have gone on eBay or Poshmark or something like that and purchased it, but the chances of it actually being a fraud are really, really high. And I didn't want it to be a fraud. I wanted the real thing. So I knew I would never get that because it's time has passed. And then my friend Cindy from the channel Obroad, if you don't know her, you gotta check her out. I <laughs> love Cindy. Let's see if we can get her to over a thousand, okay? Because that, that would really make me happy if we could get her channel up to over a thousand. But anyway, so um, I remember when Cindy bought this. So I know this is authentic because I saw her video when she got it. So when you look at it on its side, there's some writing here and it says, I know who I was when I got up this morning, but I must have changed several times since then. <laughs> I get it, I love it. And then there's the shadows that are in here. Now, Cindy had swatched them, so I didn't feel a bit guilty about actually using them. I don't ever plan to get rid of this. Even if it wasn't what it is, just the fact that Cindy sent it to me, I would never get rid of it. You know me, right? I went for the green. I went for Hatter first. But I have wore this a couple of times and then I put it up because I want it to still look new. I was very careful. And when you open it up, it's got this mirror and this says, I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours. And that is me. Is that not me? That is me. So I love that. And then, of course, when you open it up, there's the beautiful butterfly. And I will... <laughs> it says on the mirror, we're all mad here. You guys know I have a shirt that says that. I will cherish this forever. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I will cherish this forever. Thank you so much again, Cindy. I know I keep saying that, but thank you so much again. And I'm going to put it right back here and you guys will be able to see it. And now you will know what it is in case you can't tell. Also underneath it is a sweet note that she sent to me. So just know, Cindy, that note is always underneath this sitting right over here. <laughs> Since I was back there, let's just go ahead and talk about the candles, okay? I have gotten this obsession with the candles and this is not good, guys, because I have candles around the house, okay? I've never really been that obsessed with them. I guess I just needed to get a good one. <laughs> I have to blame this obsession on my BFF from high school. We go shopping, we go out to dinner every single month, we go out to dinner and then we go shopping, okay? Just most of the time just looking around, but you know, sometimes we actually have a goal in mind. <laughs> and she likes Bath and Body Works. And I'm like, meh, whatever, cause I've done spent all my money at the Sephora or the Mac or the Alta. <laughs> my girlfriend then, she takes me in there and you know, I mean, eh, it's okay. You might get me to buy a melt, which I put in my CCL back here and uh, you might get me to get a melt because them were cheap but no why would I buy that candle when I went over there to get her birthday I got her this candle because I love the smell I kept going back and forth those people in there I must have been in there for an hour I'm not kidding you it was worse than trying to swatch all the lipsticks at Sephora I couldn't make up my mind. I kept going back and forth between Frosted Cranberry and Cranberry Woods. Well, I'm just gonna tell you right off which one is my favorite because what's burning back here right now is actually Frosted Cranberry and it does smell good. If I can't have this, I'll take this, all right? But yeah, I like this. 
So I got this cranberry woods, and here's another one. I burned one that the empty thing is over there, and then I, I like that one, and there's another one back there, and these aren't cheap. Mama needs you to go to glitzyritzy.com and see all the jewelry I got there. I got some new stuff, too. <laughs> and the Melissa's are back in stock. You go, go right over there, pause, I'll wait. <laughs> Go over there and buy some jewelry because mama is in trouble with the candles. <laughs> I'm always getting compliments from you guys on my nails. And, um, you know, for a long time I was wearing the uh, press-on nails, which I still love. Don't get me wrong. Quick, fast, such a righty, cute. But here's the thing. My nails grow so fast. So in five days, they would have grown out to the point where this back part that goes to the cuticle, you can get a hair under there when you're washing your hair. And I'm pulling out my hair in the shower. They're not supposed to be on more than five to seven days, but you know, I'm going to try to make them last for 10. <laughs> so I had quit going to the salon in the first place because I wanted to save money and I'm spending every bit as much money on those press on nails, changing them every five days. So I thought, all right, I don't want to go back to the salon. I don't want to get acrylic nails because the acrylic nails destroy my nails and it's expensive. I wanted to do the dip nails again. I know some of you may go, well, that's acrylic. Yeah, but it's different. And the polymer that goes on your nail, it's different. The, um, the dip nails, actually can help your nails because there's calcium and stuff in the bond. So I wanted to do the dip nails. I thought, all right, well, this is what it costs if I go to the salon. So two salon visits pay for Kira Sky system. You can't get any easier. If you want to help your nails, strengthen your nails, in the kit comes everything you need to do your nails without a color. I'm gonna tell you what I've learned from doing the Kira Sky stuff. Uh, no, I'm not. If you wanna see a video on that, then let me know and, and I'll tell you everything about the Kira Sky system that I've learned. <laughs> but suffice it to know that you've got, it comes with all these steps. They're very easy, okay? And uh, you're gonna ask about the nails because everybody keeps asking me about the nails. My nails today are, is this dip and it's Tahitian princess. All right, so what you do is, you just go like step one is the bond, you put it on. Step two is the base, you put it on. It's like fingernail polish, okay? After you've got the base on, dip, come out, hit it off. Step three is the seal and protect. Step four, you know, so basically you just go through all the steps and you have strengthened your nails. These are mine now, okay? So I've had them on since you saw my French manicure. That's how long they've been in the dip. So they've grown out enough now that this is my nail. So that's how, I, how I've been doing that. And I've been loving how quick, fast, and easy the Kira Sky system is. This sunscreen was sent to me by one of you. Thank you. And this is my favorite sunscreen. I don't even think I need to try anything else. In fact, this is almost gone. It's getting ready to hit the empties and I've already purchased another one. This particular person has sent me a couple of things and I, here's what I wanna to say to you. First of all, thank you. But why don't you have your own channel? <laughs> because everything that you have sent me to try, I've absolutely loved and found it to be an absolutely great skincare product. So why don't you have your own channel? <laughs> Just saying, food for thought. Inside is a ball bearing and you shake it up, right? Then, now, no, it isn't very big, but I, I can't help it. I'm addicted to this stuff now. So I'm just going to show you a little. See how runny and milky that is? It's got a faint scent, nothing that would bother me. But look at this. It, this goes wonderful over the top of my... Uh, matte hippie oil it lays under my makeup beautiful and perfect in my opinion if you find a sunscreen that works perfectly with your skincare and your makeup and this is 50 plus it is nourishing it feels like a moisturizer and it says uv super moisture milk 
It feels perfect. I love this. I wanted this for so long. This is the Gemini palette by um, Milk Cosmetics. They are best known for their stacks. And I've been telling myself, you are not going to buy an eyeshadow palette unless there is more unique colors in it you do not have than not. <laughs> when I first saw this palette, it was on um, Christy from Raw Beauty Christy. She was putting this on and I went, oh, I want it. But when I got to Melt Cosmetics website, it was sold out. And I had to sign up for when they re-released it and that took forever. Now, I looked before I was going to tell you about it. It is still for sale. So <laughs> I think once it's gone this time, it's gone forever. So if you want it, also realize that this spectrum of colors isn't something that appeals to everybody. But I love greens and I don't have any of these greens. Here, I'm wearing it today. Gorgeous, perfect. They're all pigmented. Um, there's not a dud in this bunch. And this black, so perfect. I love this palette so much. <gasps> oh. Let's talk about the Vegas Nay set that I picked up over at TJ Maxx. Now, inside are, you know, little individual lashes in case I have a hole I need to plug. I don't wear false eyelashes unless it's like a costume or something like that. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable in them. I think my lashes are good enough. I don't need them. So, but occasionally I will get um, some eye winkers that fall out and I'll have a hole <laughs> and I'll plug it with one of these. So I'm keeping this and I'm keeping this eyelashes inside here. It's just a shame to throw this box away. But inside that box, was this little blush trio. I don't know that much about Vegas Nay. I know she has eyelashes and I probably wouldn't have tried this except the price was worth the brush that was in there. I thought the brush alone is, is worth that money. And this is a really great brush. It's just the right weight and it fits in here perfect. So do other brushes. You know, most blush brushes fit in this. But today I'm wearing this and this. So I've double blushed. I put this on first and then went over it with this. But I really like palettes like this that have two or three blushes in them. And I, I do. I buy the Lorac ones when they come out. I just really like that. Since we're talking about brushes, I got a few I want to talk about. This one is not new, but I've still been enjoying it. It is still a favorite. This brush by e.l.f. would remind you of a mini baby Marc Jacobs bronzer brush. I enjoy, I know this is not what this is for, and you know what? You don't have to use brushes for what they say they're for. It's up to you. Do what you want with them. So I like using this for blush. It's so soft. I just love using it. I love using all kinds of brushes that are meant for powder or bronzer for blush. I like a more diffused look on my cheek. I don't want a distinct blush line. I don't want a distinct bronzer line. And I think that an oversized brush like this one, I picked this up at the TJ Maxx and boy, do I love this. It's tapered and look, uh, it's so soft and it's meant for powder. I don't use it for powder. Just like those Juno brushes, those little Juno brushes that they sent me that I love. I love the glitter handle and the squared off sides. This does not roll. I have a problem with things rolling around on me. <laughs> so I am so glad that I got to try this. I didn't want to purchase this brush when it came out because I thought, you have so many, but I couldn't pass it up when I was over there at the TJ Maxx and I would pay full price for this. This is a very soft, beautiful blush brush. That's really a powder brush. <laughs> the last thing I picked up over there was this Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. And I was disappointed at first. When I first opened it up and I did this number, I went, where is it? Yeah, it's invisible. <laughs> For a fair girl like me, this is a perfect bronzer. I have it in fair delight. Why it's perfect is because 
it's not really invisible, but you don't have to blend. Sometimes you can get a bronzer that is just too dark and you get it on and you gotta blend and blend and blend. You don't have to with this one. You can just come in here, bang, and then go on to your cheeks and it's almost invisible in that people aren't gonna know that you have on a bronzer. It just, it just works and I really like it. I've been using it ever since I got it and I really like it. Essence does it again. They have impressed me yet again. This is such an inexpensive brand. I saw my friend Trish Oliver talking about this primer and I went, what? There's a mascara primer that I don't know about? Ridiculous. This thing really, really, mm. <laughs> I've already gone through the lash primers that I had open, so I can't compare this to anything, but I've been wearing this and find it to be BAM! It's so inexpensive. I really think if you like eyelash primers, you should give this one a try. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit in ash brown. And my favorite brow pencil is still the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil in ash brown. Now, but I use this with it. So I will use this at the front of my brows and I will use the brow pencil all through my brows. I've always had a problem making the front of my brows look realistic. It looks like, I don't want it to look like there's a bunch of powder in front of my brow and that is so hard for me. I have such a hard time and it just looks like a block of powder. I don't like that. Who likes that look? The next two things then have to do with when I was doing my Halloween get ready with me, I learned some things. <laughs> While I was trying to master these lines and brushes, I went, you know, one of the brushes that you need is a thin liner brush. But I'm not going to pay $20 for one when I don't wear liquid liner very much. And that look, actually, I had to do a few different things to accomplish what I was trying to do. But in doing that, I went and I got these craft brushes. Look at this. Okay, so I thought, I'm just going to use it for Halloween. I don't need a good brush. And I thought, you know what? I wonder if I could go into this powder with this brush and flick little hairs at the front of my brows. And don't you know it works. So what I do is I will take this brush now. The brush is, is the favorite thing this month right? These brushes. For like, I forget how much it was. It was dirt cheap. I got a whole bunch of them. I put all of them, but these tiny little ones here, I put them all up for my nails if I decide to do some nail art or something. But um, these ones I kept out for makeup. So you just come to the front of your brow and flick. And I go back and forth between the really dark and the light. And do you see? I thought I would tell you in case you don't want to spend a lot of money but you want to know whether or not it would work. Just pick up some of these, these little craft brushes, the tiniest little ones in there, the, the ones that you can write with, those. That will work at the front of your brow with a powder to flick some little hairs, even through your brow. Now I know I already told you I love this liquid liner. I don't like its price tag, but I do like the Superhero by It Cosmetics uh, liner. This was what was working the best for doing my makeup for Halloween, but I'm like, no, I don't want to use up my It liner. I was just using this for, you know, my gosh, this thing is perfect, right? You can get a thin line like that you can get a thick line like that. So, but this thing costs too much. I don't want to do that. And you know, I was taking this little brush and different ones and trying to go into gel liners. And I was really having a problem controlling it. So what I did to fix the issue was I got three products from e.l.f. Total, I think they were like $15. So I thought one of them's gotta work and that would be the price of the Physician's Formula Pen. So one was the traditional liquid liner that I don't know where it has gone. Then this, which I thought might be a pen like this, but it's not. It's also a liquid liner, see? And you know, I actually did a wing with it today. Perfect! 
I just don't use liquid liner enough to spend the kind of money that this costs. I'll probably go for e.l.f. in the future. Now then, I've got this Fitbit on because I want to show you something. Thank you, Fritzy family, Diane. Oh my goodness. So we've been having a talk. This isn't the band I would normally wear. This is the one that came on it. I was getting like contact dermatitis or something from where this light was hitting here. One day it just started and I think what happened was maybe I got some soap Oh, uh, some soapy water or something underneath it and these lights fried my skin. I don't know what happened, but one day I just couldn't wear the Fitbit anymore. It got red. It kind of blistered a little bit. I had to let it heal. Once it healed, I put the Fitbit back on and dang it, within, the, within that day, it was doing it again. And I told everybody about it on Instagram and Diane said, maybe a Band-Aid would work. And I thought, might. So I went and got a band-aid and I put it on and by gosh the thing still worked and I know because I tested it to see was my heart rate and everything still you know what it was without the band-aid and then well I ran out of band-aids but I have found that this is working really good. This is this tape. This stuff is really meant for like helping you with injuries it doesn't help me where my injury is, but I had bought a roll of it anyway. It's not just going to no use though, because all I do is I cut off just a little bit and I put it on my wrist. It's underneath my Fitbit, so you don't notice it, and it keeps the Fitbit from coming into contact with my skin. I have not had one single problem since then. Some of you had DM'd me and said, I have the same issue, then that's how you can get by with it and start wearing your Fitbit again if you want to. Last thing, pick a hand. Any hand will do. Which hand do you want? This one? This one? <laughs> what? They're sponges. You already know from the look of this what this is. <laughs> While me and my BFF went to the Target, you saw that in a vlog. I went ahead and I picked up a trio of smaller sponges. And this is the only one of the trio I like. I do like this thing. When you get it wet, it grows, of course, a little bigger than this. I like it. It's got this point on the end. The whole package was like $7 or something. And so I like this one. I felt like, even though I don't like the other two, this one was worth the $7. I like this sponge. But this one... <laughs> I've seen, the first person I ever saw talk about this was my friend Susan of Little Poet, and she had this humongous sponge, and I should get it wet so you can see how huge this sponge is when it's wet. Since then, several people have talked about it, and I'm like, really? It's too big to do your makeup. That thing is, look, not wet. Look how big it is on my face. <laughs> I have to eat my words on this, okay? Even though this thing gets huge, it is such a squishy, soft, Thing. This end here is so big that you can go in with your foundation, beautiful finish, and be done in no time flat. And this side here, as big as this looks, really does squish down very well so you can even get under your eyes. So never have I been more surprised about a sponge than this. <laughs> and it's been washed uh, for a month now, and you know me. I tear into them and this is a good sponge. I will buy this again. For me, here are my top contenders for sponges. The Thrive is perfect. The Thrive sponge is perfect. But if you don't have $18 for a sponge, then this sponge is really good. And if you don't have $7 for a sponge, then the Miss A sponges are bomb. They get big like this, but I actually like this one better than the Miss A sponges. So this is a sponge by Sonia Kashik. That is a wrap, guys. So I hope that uh, you guys know how much you mean to me, that you're the best part of the Fritzy family. Okay, I may have planned that one. I still get credit though. <laughs> I also want you to know that if you're not having a blessed day, if you go out and you be a blessing to somebody else, it will turn around. You'll feel so good inside. And I guess I will see you next time. So let me see ya. Bye. And I'm out. Cranberry Woods from Bed Bath & Beyond. No, it's not a candle from Bed Bath & Beyond. Why do I always interchange those? It's like I will always say Bed Bath & Beyond when I mean Bed...
Bath and Body Works. <laughs> she likes bam. Did you know that's a word? Bam. You gotta go like this with your tongue. Bam. She likes bam. I don't have many left over for stuff. And she'd be like, she's shocked, right? Because she goes in there with me and she's like, what? That lipstick costs what? You can have a pair of boots for that. I'm like, shut up. You got your thing, I got mine, okay? I had three closets full of shoes. My arches fell and then I had to get rid of them. So, hmm. I feel like a baby with its bottle. Really, there's Kahlua in there. I have to quit joking about that. Are you guys going to think I get, that I'm drunk, right? I've had people ask me, have you been drinking? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is just how I am. <laughs> I cannot read. What is wrong with me? Don't even, don't even think about answering that. Or something. There was one over there called leaves. Now, I'm out in the yard trying to smell my leaves, and they don't smell nothing like that. Be like, get all the leaves and bring them in the house. Because if that's what leaves smell like, I want them inside. <laughs> Within five days, they've grown... grown go. <laughs> Within five days, I go <laughs> talk right. Woo, woo, straighten up and talk right. I don't have this orange. That's not orange. I don't have that orange right there. <laughs> that is a mustard yellow. No, it's not. It's not mustard yellow. It's a uh, like baby poop yellow. Here, I don't wear false eyelashes unless it's a costume party or something. But occasionally, I will get a. But occasionally, I want to talk about me. Want to talk about I. Want to talk about number one me. My oh my. <laughs> There's nothing there. There's some freckles we can connect, but... Uh, oh, let's be honest, they're age spots. But we can call them freckles. Okay, let's just be kind and call them freckles. They're just little cute freckles. What? This costs too much to be drawing all over my face for thank for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Do you guys draw all over your face for Thanksgiving? <laughs> Maybe we can just draw a little turkey right here. But guys, I have to eat my words. Here, let me just eat the sponge. No.